Shalom, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all glory and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and double honor to our apostles and the elders that rule well. And salutation to everybody <clears throat> and the hopeful elect out there on the comment board. Uh, today's lesson that I want to get into is uh, Esau and uh, the, the vengeance that's coming to their nation. Not only to the nation too, but you know, through the spirit, the spirit had me bring out on Esau because Esau, over the years that he's had us in uh, captivity and all the crimes that he's done towards uh, the nation of Israel, he has never got paid back for what he's done. <clears throat> that is, you see, as the picture right here it says "Run, Edomites, run!" And I saw that, just saw that on Google Lurk, and I had to had to pull that out. But I, I just want to give, I just want to get into, let's just look at some of the atrocities that Esau has done <clears throat> and has pulled out to our nation, right? Because the, these devils, man, are, are are fugitives on earth, man. They have a lot of blood on their hands that they have to to pay for. Look, gather round two of the brothers. It's lucky for the wind, too. I'm outside by the water side. So if you hear the wind, or if it messes up, that's it. But as you see, look right here. They're all gathered around like it, like it's a picnic. Pick a nigga. <clears throat> and there is a, a judgment a judgment coming to the nation because they Esau like to say that oh we all didn't do nothing brother I wasn't there at that time it was my ancestors or why should I have to pay for what my ancestors did look at all this look at this now you would have to think let's think about it do you think every single last one of us was wicked when, when we was uh, going on slavery do you think every uh, last Israelite was wicked that was on them ships. No, we got the righteous among the wicked. So, therefore, their children. We gonna get up. We gonna get all through that through the spirit. But all that they have to pay for what they did, the whole nation. And we, we gonna through the spirit. We gonna get into the judgment. <clears throat> the Esau. Well, I want to start off with the book of Romans three, and verse three. It says. And it reads, it says, for what if some did not, if what, for what if some did not believe? Should the unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God, God forbid, yea, let God be true, <clears throat> but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and thou might overcome, <clears throat> so I can overcome with thy art, be judged. So, a lot of these Edomites and these other nations, and Jake too, don't believe that, uh, that they're going to have to pay for what they did. So just because you don't believe in the back of your mind that something's not going to happen, it's not, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. And that's what the Edomites feel to realize, man. <clears throat> Let, let's, just, let's just get straight through, uh, straight into the spirit. It might be a little bit of a lengthy lesson, maybe. Let's see how the spirit <clears throat> spirit goes. Well, we're going we gonna to start off. Hold on. Actually, no. I'll, let's address this point real quick. That I, I didn't do it, spirit. That I wasn't there, spirit. Let, let, let's see what let's see what the Bible says. <clears throat> this is Isaiah uh, 14 and verse 21. It says, "Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities." It says, "Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers." Bro. So it doesn't matter if if you was well. You know, you are your forefathers coming back, but for the, you know, is for the Edomites out there that don't get it. it. It doesn't matter, man. You have to pay for what your forefathers did. Because that crime has not been, has, how do I want to put it? That crime, you have not paid for that crime yet. <clears throat> and you've been getting away with your wickedness for hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. Putting, putting pork in leather, putting pork in everything. They're, they're, they're. Purposely making us go off by doing what they're doing. Uh, what else? GMO foods. They set up uh, Moab on every corner in, in the hood, selling you cats and dogs and all types of abominations going off. Everybody has a, a, a hand in this captivity that we're in right now, and everybody's going to pay for it. So prepare slaughter for his children. So Esau, you're not getting away, man. You have to, you have to, Esau, normally, if, if somebody did something wrong, you know, a right man, a just man, would own up to what he's did. And, oh, I'm sorry, brother, I didn't mean to do that. And they'll, they'll try to do something 
to move towards uh, uh, fixing what, what they right and they wrongs. But e Esau is not going to do that, man. Esau has to get taken down by violence and by force, and they have to go through for what we have to do. They talking about giving us one billion reparations? No, all the men in the Lord, we don't want reparations. We want you to feel exactly what we felt when we was working sun up to sun up. We want we want you to feel how when our uh, our babies was getting stripped from us. We want you to feel all the getting uh, beat. We we want you to feel that. We don't want no one. And you know what is Jake gonna do anyway? See Esau Esau is is, is slick man. Cause what they gonna do? They gonna give. They're going to give the $1 billion away in the reparations and what Jake going to do. The, the Jake of the world going to end up giving it right back to you. And that, that's what Esau slick. That's their plan, man. They're going to give you the money so they can get it right back. Because, you know, what, what, is, what is the first thing Jake going to do when, when, he gets, when, Jake, when, when Jake gets money? What is the first thing he do? I got to go stand outside, Foot Locker. I got to get, get the drones that drop at 8 o'clock in the morning. I got to get this new Gucci that just came out with this new Nike outfit. Looks cold. I'm about to get. I'm about to. I'm about, Jake is wicked, man. I'm about to go steal this dude girl with this fit. <clears throat> I gotta get the new Jordans dead stock. That's what Jordan think. That's what Jake thinks, man. They the carnal. <clears throat> so we want you to feel exactly what we feel through, and then you gonna feel exactly what we fit. Uh, what we went through. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Thirty and verse seven. It says, "And the Lord, thy power." will put all these curses upon thine enemies on them that hate thee which persecuted thee so all the curses that we went through they're gonna go through so let, let's get it's like i wasn't planning on bringing this out but let's bring it out right now <clears throat> let's get some of these curses in deuteronomy man let, let's see some of the stuff that we went through that esau gonna have to go through let's get a let's just get a couple <clears throat> Uh, come on, 32. Yeah, here we go right here. Let's get Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32. It says, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. <clears throat> so, so what are we going to do when, when, because, because look, Israel's going to have their own slave trade going. We're going to cast lots for them. I'm, that's a scripture I'm going to get later. So I can have to get a sip of water, throw it getting dry. So, so, so what's going to happen? We going, Jake, <clears throat> we going, all right, look, you, you might have them on auction blocks and you might be sizing them up. As you see as these movies, see how they, uh, how they were sizing up Jake <clears throat> and, and the young kids, they was, uh, touching on their teeth, feeling on their muscles and they was, uh, what else were they doing? They was, you know, Esau, Esau, the white man is, uh, is, 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 what do you want to, what I want to say? Uh, homosexuals by nature. So they, they, what they was doing, they was filling on the rods of the men. They was doing all types of wicked shit. <clears throat> so we, we not gonna be doing that, but we gonna, we gonna be filling, we gonna filling on the Edomites muscles, the uh, Moab muscles. Yeah, she, he looks pretty good for the field. I feel like he can do this, I can, he can do that. And then you're, gonna, you're not gonna have no mind in your hand to do nothing. Look, he gonna look, I want that brother. I, I mean, I want that Edomite. I want that, that Ish, the Ishmaelite. I want that more, but <clears throat> so they son and the daughters gonna be given it to another people, and there's gonna be no mind in the hand. That's exactly what's gonna be going on. We're gonna have our own slave trade. <clears throat> Let's get another one. Let's get a. Uh, uh, which one do I want? Which one do I want? Let's see. I want to get. Actually, let me get straight to the point. Let me get 68. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you should be sold unto your enemies for bond man and bond woman, and no man shall buy you. So what's going to happen? We, look, depending on how you want your yo Edomites and your slaves to be to be transferred. You might you might want them on ships. You might want to pack them up with with no water and food at the bottom of a ship. Hot heat. You might want them shipped to, to wherever you want them to be. Or you might have them walk the trail of tears. You might you, however you want your Edomites, man. The main point we're gonna put them on ships and no man's gonna save them. It says Ray Bourgier is not gonna come out of nowhere and 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 get the Edomites out of captivity, man. <clears throat> Nobody's gonna save them. They're gonna be in hardcore bondage for what they did. I just want to get a couple. I ain't gonna to do too much. So, 
we gonna we gonna have these we'll have these Edomites for for servants and and handmaids, man. I'm gonna get that. This is Isaiah 4, 14 and verse one. It says, "For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them." So now, who is the strangers? It says, "For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land." So Israel and Jacob is gonna be one, one, one nation once again, but we're gonna be set in our own land. And the strangers, now who, who would be the strangers? It would be these other nations. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're gonna be cleaving on to us. And it says, this is verse two, and the people shall take them. It didn't say ask, it didn't say bargain, it didn't say uh, treaty, it didn't say negotiate. It says take them. When you take something, you, you hand that here. You take it by force. It says it bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess. Them. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. And from thy fear and from thy hard bondage when thou was made to serve. Thou, for, uh, verse 4, that thou shalt take up the proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How has the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. <clears throat> so, and, and, the, and the land of Israel, they're going to be servants and handmaids. It's just going to be hardcore slavery for Esau and these other nations, man. They're going to go into hardcore slavery. It's not going to be, they're not going to get no water breaks. They're going to be working sun up to sun up. And the only rest they're going to get is on the Sabbath. Esau is really going to feel shortly what what uh, what we felt like. And it's going to be worse because they don't got no melanin. They're going to be burning up in the sun, man. They're going to be burning up. The brother's going to be laughing. We're going to be, be putting hell on Esau, man. Hell is coming to their nation. So you might, you might, you know, have your wife. Or whatever y'all in the in the kitchen have a little Edomites uh, cook your food and whatever, and then boom after that you clap your hands they come in look I want I want all this kitchen cleaned up by uh, 20 minutes I want it spotless and if you don't all y'all all y'all getting beat <laughs> and you clap your hands and they get to work it's gonna be whatever you look whatever you want done righteously look they're gonna be doing and it's gonna be a done to them man it's gonna be hell on these nations man. <clears throat> Let's get, let's get this slavery going for Esau. Let me get another scripture. This is Psalms 149, verse 6. It says, Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand. Why, Lord? Why, why do we need a two-edged sword? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. So Donald Trump, the Rothschilds, all these elite bankers, the DuPonts, and all them brother going, they're gonna be the first ones on them boats because they going, they're gonna be they're, they're gonna be the ones that escape the destruction of, of America, man. When America get hit with these missiles. They're, they're, they're going to be the ones to say because they got their what they underground bunkers, they got their under uh, under 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 sea bunkers. They got all that stuff, and all you simple sellouts, and you and, and you low life uh, devils, y'all look, y'all look. You think you honestly think Donald Trump is going? Yeah, let's get all of them. No, they're not worried about it. your own people. Don't even care about you. That's how much devils y'all are. Your own people don't even care about you. Your own people. So they're gonna leave y'all and they're gonna get to their own safe, but. They're going to get caught. They're going to be the first ones. We're going to round them up. We're going to put them on them ships. And they're going straight into hardcore slavery, man. And it's going it's going to be all hell. And a thousand, a, they're going to get double for what they did. Double. A thousand years. And then they're going to get exterminated. That's their ultimate, ultimate punishment. They got to be put out of the earth, man. It's like a cancer having your body. You gotta, you gotta get the Hulk. You can't just get a little bit of the cancer out, and then maybe you'll be fine. No, you have to get rid of the whole thing, and that's what's gonna happen to the Edomites. I'm actually gonna get that, but I'm gonna hold it. I mean, I get it just yet.
right one. Gonna hold that though. <clears throat> Let's keep going in the scriptures. The scripture supports an eye for an eye. I'm always doing some weird, man. The phone, I can't even refresh. I'm gonna refresh this because I'm always doing some weird. Book of Revelation, thirteen and verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must. It didn't say maybe. It didn't say might. It said must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience in the face in the faith of the saints. So the saints are patiently waiting for it to for our enemies to fall, man, and, and subdue the nations and put them in slavery, man. The, like I said earlier, the, the real men of the Lord want the same exact thing that was done to us, done to these other nations, man. We we want them to feel how we felt. And we want payback and vengeance, man. Cause he look, Esau is not a a, a a just man and he's he's not about a man about justice. That's why anytime you talk to Edomite man about uh what happened to our people, they always get defensive. It was so long ago, brother. Uh we moved on from that. No. But what what has the where's the the uh the payback and where's the, the reparations? Where where's our uh compensation for all the stuff that you've done? We all bombed uh what do you call it? Hiroshima, Nagasaki. What did y'all do? Y'all had them in turn. When y'all had the Japanese in turn, what did y'all do? Y'all gave them. Y'all gave them. They land back and they free roaming right now. But, but what is the the so called uh, black man, so called Mexican man, so called his uh, native Native American man get? You you got the native the Native Americans on plantations. You got the the so called Negro people all in the ghettos and all the slums. And and the Hispanics right along with them. <clears throat> you got all our people living living low while while you uh, reap the benefit of uh, that slavery, man. The exact you reaping the exact and you and your children are reaping the benefits off it too. So they can't say, oh, I wasn't doing nothing, but you're benefiting off what what your foreparents did. So you have to pay. It doesn't matter if you did it, if you wasn't there. If you had, no, if you was a good, good, uh, good white boy, <laughs> if he was a good white boy. Does it matter? It does not matter, man. This is the next scripture. You got Eve walking around over here with half damn naked with her damn man right there. So Eve, Eve, man, out of control, man. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So you should not pollute the land wherein you are. You are. <clears throat> For blood, it defiles the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So, I'm going to get 34. The fire not thereof the land which ye shall inhabit, wherein I dwell, for I the Lord dwell among the children of Israel. So where where is everybody at in that? Where is the Lord say he dwells in the children of Israel? Now, is the, the nation of Israel everybody? No. Well, let's get, you know, back to the point right here. It says the blood cannot be cleansed. So who so who shed the, the innocent blood of, of Israel, man? The The main culprit, I should say. Because all these nations had a part. But who who was the main nation? That, that, that's getting the worst judgment out of all. Esau. It can, this land cannot be cleansed but by the blood that is shed therein. But of him. But by the blood of him that shed it. So this, this the America, Babylon the Great, it cannot be cleansed. But only by the Edomite's blood. It's the only way. So ain't no Esau try to <laughs> plant grass everywhere and, and make rivers and, and plant trees and uh, railroads and pavement for cars. And Oh, you're not covering all that blood, man, because all that blood is soaked in the soil. All that blood is literally saturated and soaked in the soil, man. America has got built off off the backs of of us, of our people, man. And they, they, ha they, they have to get paid for that. 
Esau will all Esau over here walking around freely think nothing nothing. This what Esau think, man. Esau think he just gonna do whatever the hell he wants to do and he just gonna get away from it. He think he just gonna walk he got he got he playing Monopoly and he got to get out of the jail free card. No. Y'all sins, you have a, a, a long rap sheet that y'all have to pay for, man. Every little thing that y'all have done, which we which we don't know all the fullness of what they done. Only the most high know that. But we the little that we know, we we already pissed off about it, man. They all got set up prison systems, set up prison systems to breed homosexuality, which is against the scriptures. Another devil thing that y'all doing. Promote all types of bestiality and wickedness going on. And all types of just, just manner of sin, man. This is the sinful kingdom. And y'all have a lot to pay. Well, back to the prison thing. Y'all have prison houses breeding, breeding for, for homosexuals, man. Y'all will give a man life, you know, a life sentence, and then he, he then he's not allowed to see his woman. Barely get visitation. So so what what else is the you know I, you know Jake, Jake getting bugged out in prison system. But what 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 is a man gonna do in prison, man? He not allowed to see his woman, or barely get get visitation for his woman. You know to do what he gotta do. What is else gonna do? Oh man, this man looking mighty fine. And Esau does that shit on purpose, man. Esau literally does that shit on purpose. Leave them in there to become homosexuals and, and, and demons. So when they get out, what do they do? They do they way worse than when they when they came in there. And Esau knows exactly what they're doing, man. They do that shit on purpose. Their wickedness is coming out, man. Look at the book of Nahum 1 verse 3. I should know slot yet. Let me get, let me get 1 verse 3 first. Because <clears throat> they're not getting away, man. Esau is not getting away. Nahum chapter 1 verse 3. It says, The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in his in his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the clouds are the dust of his feet. Let's find out what equip means. We got Moab over here throwing frisbees and shit. Let's get equip. My car. Find out what equip means, man. It says the Lord's not going to quit the wicked. And who was the wicked? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. I should call them the border of wickedness. Malachi 1 3. To be empty, be clear, be pure, be free, be innocent, be desolate, be cut off, to be empty, be clean, be pure, to be cleaned out, be purged out, to be clean, be free from guilt, be innocent, to be free, to exempt from obligation, to hold innocent, acquit, to leave unpunished. You're not leaving unpunished. <clears throat> He's not going to acquit the wicked. Just because Esau, I mean Esau get comfortable too. Esau get, yeah, ain't nothing happening. <laughs> Esau gets proud, man. Esau is proud. They say, ain't nothing happening yet. Ain't nothing ever gonna happen to us. We going what is it? What is what is that scripture, man? It says in their uh what is that? In their like in their inward thoughts they they think uh what is I think that's an Obadiah. hold on, let me get Obadiah. I gotta get that scripture. Like in their inward in the in their inward thoughts, they uh, they think that they shall reign forever. Some some like that. I think that's an is that an old house? I think that's an apocrypher. You have heard the rumor from uh, prior to him this year. This is one of them right here. This is one of the scriptures right here. This, this is not the one I wanted, but this is one of them right here. This is Obadiah one verse three. It says, "The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose inhabitation is high." That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? That's the pride. That's the pride of Esau right there, man. Who shall bring me down? I got the best military. I got the best. Esau said, I got the best women. I got the money. I got the. I got everything. That's an Esau thing, man. Esau is, 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 is pride. Is a prideful nation, man. They think who should? They said that Trump. Trump has his pride on it, man. Who's going to take down America? Uh. Threaten, threaten all these other nations, bro. You don't even know. America's about to get fucked up. America's about to get fucked up. It's that pride of Trump right there, though. That who gonna bring me down to the ground? America's gonna stand forever. 
ain't nobody, ain't no nation strong enough to bring America down. Big bad America. And then you got these low life Edomites make a, make America great again and think America's gonna last. And then you got Lost Jake up there too. America's gonna be here forever, man. Who's to, who's gonna take Esau out of power? Most high's about to take Esau out of power, man. That's, that's who's about to take Esau out of power. Let's keep going. Who shall bring? Who should bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, and thou set their nests among the stars, thence I will bring thee. I will, so I'm gonna let this this go by. Motorcycles. It says. Let's start over. Obadiah one verse four. It says, "Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and thou set thy nest among the stars, thence I will bring thee down," said the Lord. It says the Lord is gonna bring them down, man. I'm gonna look. I'm, 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 gonna get, I'm not gonna get that yet. I'm not gonna get that yet. So, in back into Esau, for, for us going in for what we did, I mean, how they uh, cast lots of us and they did all that, we're gonna do this. The slave trade is gonna happen. So, let me prove that point, what I was saying earlier about the uh, we're gonna cast lots for them. This is Day Home, chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Yet was she carried away. Moab is thinking that 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 pan dropping language behind me. It says, yet she was carried away. She went into captivity. Her young children also were dashed in pieces at the top of all of the streets. And they cast lots for her honorable men, and all her great men were bound in chains. Let's find out what cast lots. Why does it keep doing this? It act like it doesn't want to scroll. Let's see if it gets a bit of sniff in cast lots. Recompense, uh, retribution, lot, pebbles used for systematically making decisions, portion. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Pretty rough, probably pebble stones. Nah, I don't think it's gonna give this to us. Let's see, let me give it some cast. I don't think it is. The cast lots. It's not gonna give us the definition we're looking for. But we gonna cast lots for them. So we gonna we gonna look. I want Donald Trump and I want uh David Rockefeller. I want him for for uh. 300 shekels of silver and you're like okay you, you got that i give you three throw three moabites uh two edomite women and i'll give you uh this tall hand mic that can get the apples off the tree and, and pick grapes good for for you and we gonna we gonna be having our own slave trade man we're literally gonna be having our own slave trade with these edomites man that's it and the ultimate judgment i mean we ain't gonna get to the ultimate judgment we gonna look Book of Second Edges, five and verse forty-two, and he said unto me, "I will liken my judgment unto a ring, like as there is no slackness of the last, even though there is no swiftness of the first." So look, the Lord's judgment is like unto a ring. So what does that mean? Well, it goes around, comes around. You start at the top of a ring, and you go around in that complete circle. It's gonna come around and bite you in the ass, man. So Esau, all your the, the rap sheet, like I said, is, is building up for y'all wickedness, man. It, it's, it's building up. And the Lord's about to throw y'all down with a swift overthrow, man. Oh, Esau's about to get fucked up, man. You know, white people have a lot a, a lot to pay for. A lot to pay for. And your ultimate judgment, like I said, we got to get rid of the whole cancer. You can't just get a little bit of the cancer. Let's find out what the ultimate judgment is. Obadiah 1 verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord, Yahweh, have spoken. There's not going to be, you know, there's going to be no Edomites walking around after they thousand year period. Man. I guess that goes for your concubines too. You're not gonna have no eat of my concubines still. They're gonna get you get rid of all the other ones that's not that's not uh sex slaves, no. We're getting rid of all of the Edomites. All the Edomites are gonna be going and done away with, man. 
Every single last one of them. They're, they're great men. They're nobles. They're honorable men. Are going to be brought down to low. What, is this, what does it say? It says that uh, the kings of this world should be the uh, kingdom. King, uh, what is it? How does it go? <laughs> Fuck, let me get this. Uh, let's see. I don't remember the scripture off the top of my head. Let's see if I can pick it up on the blue letter. The kingdom of this world. <laughs> no, I meant to say kingdom. Kings. Oh, it is the kingdoms. Here you go right here. Revelation 11 and verse 15. And the seventh angel sounded, and there was saying a great voice in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord. And of his Hamashiach, and he shall reign forever and ever. So this is this war that's coming up. And when uh Yahweh Shah sits on his throne, man, it's gonna be complete peace on earth. There ain't gonna be no more uh going back and forth with the nations, and we're not we're not gonna be uh this is our last captivity. This is the last go around. That's why all this hell is gonna break loose and it's gonna be worse than everything ever before because this is the last go around on this earth, man. And just like how every movie ends, that spider's crawling on me from this bench. I like it. <clears throat> just like uh, how movies end, or like, uh, for an example, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of a movie. Uh, like, let's say Purge, for an example. Purge, once that, that, uh, that clock hits, once that 12 hour, uh, that 12 hour thing strikes on a purge, and uh, and all the hell start breaking loose. People start killing each other and robbing and, and doing whatever they want to do. The movie doesn't get to its end until all that stuff starts to like peace out, and then it goes back to normal until the next year. Like I purged it. And that's what's gonna happen here, man. All that hell and all the wickedness is gonna break out. All these these lost souls that I'm seeing. I, see, I, I'm going to go a little, little bit. It's a little bit off topic, but right now I'm I'm outside, as you can tell, and I just see just Jake Eve. And all these other nations just walking around here, just, just clueless to, to what's going on, man. Now, I don't, I don't even honestly, me personally, I don't even look at people the same no more, man. You just look, you just, I just look at people, and I'd be like, I'd be like, damn, I mean, I'm blessed <clears throat> that the Most High has woke me up to this truth with Eve walking around half naked again, and I, the Most High has woke me up to this truth, and I'd be like, man, a lot of these, a lot of these Jakes and Eves and those other, they don't care about the other nations, but these people are walking around like, like literally the Walking Dead, but zombies. These people literally have no clue what's getting ready to take place in this planet, bro. People out here fishing, and, uh, having uh, barbecues and, and family get-togethers, and taking dogs to the uh, to the park and playing badminton and and walking dogs and and feeding ducks and, and they doing all this, man. And they don't even understand what's about to happen to this place, man. It's gonna be way more than that parish that should be saved. Like a wave is greater than a drop. Let me get that real quick. Man, I'm, I'm gonna get back on points. So like, I'm gonna get one more scripture and I'm gonna end the lesson. I gotta get the I, it's in the pocket for me. I don't I think it's in Exodus. I don't remember for sure. Let me get it real quick. Hey, wave is what is it greater than a drop? Yeah, it was an address, second address. Let's get the fourth thing. Uh, switch desktop. Version. New chapter. <clears throat> this second edge, what is this? Second edge is nine. Second edge is nine. And verse 15. It says, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Like a wave is greater than a drop. <clears throat> so it's going to be way more people. Like a big wave coming through, it's going to be all those dead people and like just a drop, like a little drop of water that falls from the sky. Just a little drop. This is going to be saved. Man. There's going to be a lot of death on this planet pretty soon. Man. The Lord is about to, about to do, do something nasty. And you know you, you gotta you gotta be prepared for this. <clears throat> There's lost souls walking around here. Let's get. I'm gonna get to the, the last scripture. And I'm gonna end the lesson out. <clears throat> what I get, Josh? 
I don't think I even need this. Okay, I don't, I don't even need. I think I put that up earlier. I said, yeah, but that's y'all. Uh, get the point of the lesson, man. Just showing that you know payback and recompense is 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 in the uh, in the scriptures, and it is a righteous thing because. All the blood that's been shed, all the wickedness and all the crimes of these other nations of Esau, it's been, it's been, it's been working up, and, and the Lord's gonna do something about it, man. And He's gonna use His men also to do, to do His bid. So, and you know, America, the doomsday clock is, is getting very close to that twelve, getting close to midnight. And when it hits midnight, man, you know what happens at midnight? At midnight, uh, clicks. It's, it's, it's over, man. You, you can kiss peace, peace, safety, four for fours, McDonald's every day. You can kiss that out the window, man. Because now survival mode is going to kick in. Because your daily bread is not going to be, be uh, easy to access. <clears throat> and the like men of, of, of the nation of Israel, man, is going is to get their needs uh, satisfied. They're going to have their water. They're going to have their shelter. They're going to have their food. They're going to be good, man. And that's why that's why we do this work, and that's why we bring out this word because we want to, you know, Lord willing, be a part of that. Then elect number, <clears throat> and no, the only the elect is only his, so no, no other nations, no, no, none of this. Man, we're the only people that the Lord is dealing with. So, you gotta you gotta get right, man. Like I made the the lesson uh, not too long ago: get right or get left. And it's, we gonna be living in that time where we have to get right or get left. You can't be in this, this, this. Maybe this is true. Maybe this is not true. Spirit, man. You can't be in that lukewarm spirit, man. <clears throat> you gotta pray that you get that spirit off you, man. If you got that lukewarm spirit off on you, because we we coming we coming into the 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 final thirty seconds <laughs> of the fourth quarter in America, man. <clears throat> and this place is is is. is done for no matter what Esau do because the persecution is coming we know that's coming we know that's coming Jacob's going to march law anything that they do is just, is just furthering the, the coming of, of the Yahweh shot the second coming cut off cut off YouTube fam another word you really start rolling no Jacob martial law Jacob's trouble and once that once this stuff starts happening bro you know the Lord is right there He's literally right there, man. At once, you know, you know, Lord willing, I'm alive in those times, and you know, Lord willing, I get to see, you know, the the, the coming, man. Once you see them cries, the it's cries, it's like the skies crack open, and you see them chariots coming in, man. You know, that's that's, that's it, man. Your your pain and your sorrows is gonna be is gonna be done for, man. Your hard hard bondage, hard slavery, and and nothing but peace is coming. But we have to get through what we got to get through first before we get to them. These other nations, like I said, like the scripture said, they got to have uh, hell coming to them. Just like we had hell coming to us for these hundreds of years, they, they're going to have to pay. With that, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying. <clears throat> uh, once again, I want to give all glory. And praises due unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to our apostles and elders that rule well. Salutations to you, hopeful like out there, and everybody on the comment boards.